Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. We're going to be doing your weekly love reading for October 2nd to October 8th. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Aries. The center of your reading is the moon card. That is the basis of your reading, okay? So that tells me that you have a fear of the unknown, all right? So this is the week of October 2nd to October 8th, all right? You have a fear of the unknown, and it may be of letting go of something because we have the Ten of Swords right below it. That is something that does need to happen, okay? The Ten of Swords comes out when there's been a disappointment, all right? There's been something very um, hurtful, all right? Something that has really held you back and weighed you down, and you must let it go. It's like, <coughs> it's a loss, okay? It's a loss that needs to be let go, all right? It's a completion. It's rock bottom. When you hit that spot, you can only go up from there, okay? So right next to it is the world card. It is meant to happen. There's this. Is, there's a purpose for everything, all right? I think it's like it's letting go of one thing for a whole new world, all right? For a whole new path, a whole new journey, all right? Right next to it, we have that world card. So I see that you are about to start a major new beginning, and we've had this a lot for you, Aries. <laughs> I feel the heaviness. I feel a heaviness. So I think a lot of you are carrying a heaviness. And I haven't been feeling this all night. So there's a big heaviness here. There, you may be losing sleep. You may be feeling ill even. Um, you may be feeling like um, there's, there's a lot of uh, stress in your life at this time. And I'm not sure what that is. Could be health, it could be health wise or it could be mentally. I see a lot of you, you know, are, 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 are sad. I mean, this looks like it's a, it's a week of, you know, there is some sadness here. There's, there's a need to be alone, you know, of, of focusing and going within. And you may be feeling like an introvert this week, just not really communicating that much. Um, it is change, okay? We have some change that's happening this week. And it might um, push you into the unknown, okay? There's something going on behind the scenes. There's something going on that you're unaware of um, that you're probably... You might have to face this week, okay? You might have to face it because it's time. It's, 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 it's time. It's decision time, all right? It's time to make something final. Um, and it seems like you've been resisting it, resisting it, resisting it. And you may be resisting it because of materialistic issues, because of the money it costs, or the money you might lose, or letting go of something material, okay? You may be, you know, that could be an issue. That might be one of the reasons why you're resisting it, it might have because of something material. I'm sorry, I just kicked that. Um, we have the magician right next to it that tells me that you have all the tools. You do. You have the tools. It's time to take action. It's time to move forward. You need to focus your attention on the plan, on your future, and you need to move forward. You must make a decision soon. A decision about 
you have to make a decision about overcoming your fear, okay? Overcoming your fear to move forward with this change that you've been wanting to make, that you just, it's time to make it. You don't dare to make it. You're falsely stuck in a situation that you don't need to be. And it's materialistically stuck, okay? Because this is the devil card. This is a materialism. This person has a big ego to feed, is worried about what society thinks. Um, very, uh, also could have, you could have you or somebody else in your picture could have addictions, um, obsessions. There could be some manipulation at play. You could be manipulating yourself with your thoughts, okay? There's definitely a, a big fear, a fear of moving into this new chapter. You know, I mean, it's. I think it's really seriously time for you to start something new, and you've been thinking about it for a long time, and the fear is just overwhelming. And I think it's a lot of it has to do with money, your, your fear of losing money or not being able to provide, you know, not being able to take care of yourself, or I don't know what it is, or not, or... Who knows? I'm sure that you will know. But I think it's materialistically, um, the fear is materialistically um, attached. You know, the, is attached to you. <laughs> Something like that. Um, and you've, you've totally been resisting it. Alright? It's like, I don't know, you're resisting change. But with the hangman there, it says you must struggle through it. You must. It's time. It's time to make something final. And it may include legal things, you know. There may be legal issues. And this card just came flying out. Ten of Swords. Again, something is ending this week. It's time to let it, to let it end. Whatever it is. The Emperor. And this is a sign of Aries. Look at that. This is not... Son of the morning is what it says. This is the hermetic tarot. tarot. <laughs> and I can't believe this heaviness. I have not had this. So some of you may be feeling heaviness, you know, in your chest, you know, or just feeling very stressed. And maybe some of you are having breathing issues or having panic attacks or anxiety attacks or just a lot, very depressed. I'm not depressed right now, but I see that there's depression here and worry. Some of you are very worried be with both of these Ten of Swords. And it's like, oh, you just, you want something to end, but you just are so scared of the outcome. Fear of the unknown. That's the basis of your reading. And this is you. It represents you. It's time for you to take a lead. It's time for you to take the lead. All right? It's time for you to get moving. And don't worry about what society thinks. I think we've had this card before. This one for you guys. Well, we usually do because it does represent you. The sun. Happiness. Lord of the fire of the world. That's what this card says. This is very uh, beauty and happiness. It's in front of you once you make something. Do what you need to do. Do the right thing for you. Okay? We have a Libra here. We have an Aries here. We have a Virgo here. Um, we have a Scorp. No, this is the devil card. Capricorn. Um, Pisces, Gemini, Leo, another, this is Pisces again, Sagittarius, that's what we have for signs. So you have this card again right next to your basis of your reading, this fear of the unknown, what's going to happen there, what's going to happen now, what's going to happen afterwards, just this, this complete fear, which is just about killing you. Okay, you're so scared of this change, whatever it is. Um, but it's, it is time, okay? This right here is, it's, this is like an overindulgence or the need to moderate. I mean, you could be trying to escape from the situation. Okay, whatever this is, just trying to be totally escape from it, block it out. You may be hiding your feelings or your fear in alcohol or drugs or food or or something like that just to get through it all right so this is you're just resisting it any way you can trying to fake that this is okay and that 
you know, I'm all right and everything is fine. You've just been like faking it, okay? The sun says, why are you doing that? Because there's so much happiness to be had in the future, okay? There is so much happiness to be had in the future. Um, this is the Lord of Success Unfulfilled, the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I'm not sure if I ever did zoom that in for you. Oh, look at that. I'm so sorry. Damn it. I should know better when I kick it. Oh, well. Um, sorry about that. Damn thing. I'm not going to start it over because it's been such a good reading. Um, the Seven of Pentacles. This is the Lord of Success Unfulfilled. You may be feeling unfulfilled at this time. All right? You must be feeling unfulfilled. And you're very, very scared to move on. Very scared because we have this moon twice. All right? That's fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of um, not knowing what's happening. You need a place where fear lives is in the unknown. Okay? So it's a mystery. There's a mystery here and you just don't. You don't dare to step into it, whatever it is. All right. And I think a lot of the fear is because you're worried about what everybody else is going to say and how they're going to handle it. And materialistically, you know, like, you know, what's going to happen next? Am I going to have enough money? Is Are they going to be taken care of? Whatever the case may be. All right. The Two of Swords says that you've been pretending like... This is the Two of Swords. It says that you've been just faking the situation. Like everything is fine when it's not. Okay? And this week you may be, you know, facing some fear. Some secret or something may happen that may help you to face your fear. There may be some illusion here, all right? With the moon twice in that seven of pentacles, there could be some illusion. And, and definitely the feeling like you need to escape, okay? Feeling like I just need to escape from this world, you know, for a little while. The union of hearts beautiful. I'm so sorry that I kicked that. That totally sucks. But life goes on and I do apologize. Like I said, happiness is in the future. I see it. I do. There's happiness to be had in the future. You have the tools to do this. You have what it takes. All you have to do is have faith. Success is here in the future with the magician right next to the sun card. Success is here. Or will be had if you face your fear. The union of hearts, number 28. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. <laughs> We're going to try this again. There is a connection of love that defies ex explanation. And I can't say the word. The union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. <laughs> explanation. Explanation. Ex explanation. Oh my God. Oh my God. There is so, this is so special, unique, and cannot be defined in words. This is a love that is comfortable and fits perfectly. It can be between parents and children, in a romantic relationship, or a special friendship. This is so special, unique, and cannot be defined in words. This is love that is comfortable and fits perfectly. It can be between parents and children, 
in a romantic relationship or in a special friendship. You have to face your fear because what's meant to be is right ahead of you. The world is a destiny card, all right? And you have, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna zoom this out real quick, so. Sorry, I gotta tighten that up. You have the world right here, all right? That's a destiny card. You must have faith, okay? What comes next is beautiful. So just do it. Talk to you later, Aries. Sorry about the mess up there.